Hey guys, it's Brianna and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an elderly hamster's cage. So my elderly hamster right now is Bambi, my male long-haired Syrian hamster, and he is just about two and a half years old. And that is quite old for a Syrian hamster since their maximum age is usually about two years, but of course they can be much older. Bambi and I go way back because I got him towards the end of my freshman year and now I am a senior so I think it's crazy that he's been with me throughout practically all of my entire high school career. Anyways, Bambi lives in a 110 quart bin cage that I made for him and here it is all cleaned out and I'm going to fill it up telling you guys my advice on how to set up an elderly hamster's cage. So first off, I'm going to fill his cage with some soft bedding. I recommend giving your elderly hamster Carefresh, KT Cleaning Cozy, or other beddings like that. I don't recommend wood shavings for older hamsters since the fine dust particles could irritate their lungs. Overall, avoid any dusty bedding. I've heard some people find Carefresh really dusty, and honestly, a couple years ago, I remember I used to consistently get dusty bags, but they seem to have gotten better. So you're just going to have to go with the bedding that you find best for your hamster. So you can see here, I'm filling most of his cage up with Carefresh and leaving a little spot for the KT Clean and Cozy. A tip that I have is to put the Carefresh on the side that the water bottle is going to be on because oftentimes what he likes to do, and I don't know why he does this, he always likes to build a nest right next to his water bottle. So the KT Clean and Cozy expands a lot more than the Carefresh and so I have come to his cage so many times where all of the water from his water bottle has leaked out into his nest and he's still sleeping there and it freaks me out because I don't want him to get too cold. So my solution was to put the Carefresh on the side of the water bottle and since then we we haven't had any problems. Next, I'm only going to give Bambi a few hides and I'm going to try and spread them out. I'm also leaving out his second store that I used to put his food on top of. I noticed that as hamsters age, they tend to fall over more often simply because their joints and muscles are weaker, so you don't want to add any extra stress on their already aging bodies. Notice that this is a very different setup than what I have for my twin hybrid sisters that live in an IKEA Detoff. Those girls have tons and tons of toys because they have a very high energy, so they love to run around and run through all the tunnels. Whereas Bambi is much older, so he prefers the conveniency of just being able to walk around his cage. It's also not likely that your elderly hamster is going to be chewing a lot because their teeth tend to wear down quite a bit by this age. If you notice that your elderly hamster still enjoys chewing and his teeth aren't too short, then keep giving him plenty of chews. If not, I recommend leaving two or three of his favorite chews and leaving out the rest since he won't be using them. This also allows your hamster to have a more clear cage to walk around in. Normally, I like to put food, water, and wheels on opposite sides of the cage to encourage my hamsters to walk around more, but as they age, I like to put them in the same area so that they have easier access to everything. Lastly, I recommend giving your hamster pre-ripped tissue paper to make a big comfortable nest. So there you have it, here is your now elderly hamster's cage. You can see there's lots of space for Bambi to easily walk through. He has a pretty hobbly walk, as you can tell, he's kind of off balance at times. So having a lot of items would just make walking so much harder for him. But even at this old age, he still gets his exercise in every day, as you can see here. So that concludes my video on how to set up an elderly hamster's cage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you and your hamster out. If you liked the video, please smash the thumbs up button and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.